I want you to do an exercise. Let's close our eyes and think about cucumbers, olives, some salami, slices of Iberic ham. Mm. Now, open your eyes. I'm sure you're all hungry by now after this mouth-watering thoughts. However, did you ever wonder what is what about this particular taste that we like so much? This very nice flavors. Well, what if I tell you that this is all given by the activity of bacteria? <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy? The bacteria that lives in the food take the nutrients present and transform them into substances that are the responsible for the flavors that we love so much. This is called fermentation process and it has been used by the Greeks, Romans, Egyptians back in the days. So it's something that we've known for a while. Now, in this kind of food, not only this harmless bacteria may grow and develop these substances, but also we can find in small amounts sometimes bad bacteria, bacteria that can cause us diseases. Well, we call them pathogenic bacteria and this isn't cool because if we let them grow, we could be in trouble. But don't panic. Don't panic because the manufacturing processes that we currently have are designed to avoid the growth of pathogenic bacteria or take them to a level so that the food is safe enough to eat. And achieving this wasn't an easy job at all. We have worked a lot and one of the tools that we have to avoid the growth of pathogenic bacteria is predicting whether this bacteria is going to grow or not. Yeah, and I mean predicting, like in the future, like yes, in the future. And I know what you're thinking, no, I don't have the tarot cards, I don't do magics. I have something that in my opinion it's even better. Math. Using math and some very fancy equations, I can describe and so predict whether this factory is going to grow or not and how it's going to make it. This is very useful, not just to design manufacturing processes that assure us with certain confidence that the food is going to be safe, but also the distribution chain for the food. So now you know, next time you are having salami or some cucumbers, just sit and enjoy, because math is on your side.